So we'd like to know what the difference is between a sampling frame and a sample. And the reason I'm asking you this question is because students get kind of confused about that all the time. But I want to see if I can explain that to you. A sampling frame is the part of the population. Let's, let's do it like we do our what's the differences. So sampling frame and our sample. So our sampling frame is the subset of the population that we're choosing a sample from. And our sample is also a subset of the population, but it's even a subset of of the sampling frame. And really the best thing is if our sampling frame and our population are the exact same thing and that our sampling frame isn't smaller but it's the exact same size as our population and then when we choose our sample from that it's very representative of our, our entire population. We didn't exclude a group or another like, for example, we didn't exclude all the people that don't have a telephone, that sort of thing. Okay, so it's the difference between a sampling frame and a sample. So we would say a sampling frame is a subset of the population. from which the sample is chosen. Okay, the best case, most representative is when the sampling frame equals the population. Okay, and then what's the difference between a convenience sample and a quota sample? So convenience and quota. And this is another one And this is another place where students get confused quite a bit. But a convenient sample, remember some of the things we know about a convenient sample. It has, um, you talk to anyone that is convenient and it could be self-chosen maybe like the poll taker picks who they want to talk to and they say oh that person looks friendly I'm going to go talk to them that person looks grumpy I'm not talking to him or her that person is is too young I like older people whatever so when the person who decides just based on whatever characteristics they see whether or not they want to talk to the person then you've got a convenient sample and um, for a quota sample you kind of do that but you also have um, number of people for some important criteria that you want to talk to and it's going to be sort of representative of your population. So based on population. So a, a convenient sample, think convenience store. 
Like for example, you're standing outside a convenience store and whoever happens to come to that convenience store and walks past you with your little notebook where you're taking your survey, that's who gets to be in your sample. And you also have this issue of the person who's taking the survey can decide not to approach that person or to approach that person or what convenience store they're gonna stand in front of and so forth. So a bunch of people can be excluded from that sample. So for a convenient sample, it has high bias. Okay, now a quota sample, which is a little bit different, but not a lot different, a quota sample is going to have at least, we've started off by giving you quotas. So for example, if we know that our, our state has a population of 48% uh, Republican, then what we do is we say, okay, 48, let's say we want you to talk to 100 people, so I'm going to say 48 of those people has to be Republican. So I'm gonna give you some categories, you the surveyor, some categories that you have to talk to 48 people who are Republicans, you have to talk to 52 people who are Democrats, and maybe I give you some other quotas too. So those are the quotas, they're categories of people. And that's this part that I'm trying to describe here, the number of people for some important criteria, and it's based on the population distribution for the, the population that you're interested in. So another example of quotas could be age groups. So we could say that for our city, we know that 30% of the residents are under 18, and then we know that 40% are un between 18 and 50, and then maybe another 30% over 50. And so again, if we do a, populate, a sample size of 100, because it's really easy to figure the percentages, then I would talk to, I would have as a surveyor, I would have a list that says, go talk to 30 children, go talk to 40 um, 18 to 50 year olds, and go talk to 30 um, older people. And so those are my quotas, but I can talk to any 30 I want to. I could still stand outside that convenience store and I'm still looking down my list and when I tell them which age group are you in and they tell me, then I check they're, they're in my survey. And if, if I've already filled enough people in my quota, say for the children, I have already gotten 30 children to come by and talk to me then what I would do is say, oh, okay, thank you for your time, and I'd go on to the next person that walks up. And if the next person's a child, I know I've already got children, so I'm not going to talk to them, but if they look a little older, I'll stop them and talk to them, and then they'll fit another quota on my list of quotas, okay? So, the one, so I'm still doing a convenience sample when I do a quota sample still convenience. I'm still talking to who I think is most convenient and standing where I want to in to talk to people. The, the bias on this one is a little bit lower than a convenient sample. Um, so it's mediocre, I like to say, which means not great, but it's not horrible. Okay, so if you make quotas and then you go out for your convenient sample, and you have quotas that you're filling and they represent your population, that's a little bit better than just talking to anybody of any age, for example. Okay, so then the big difference between a convenient sample, between convenient sampling and quota sampling, with convenient sampling, with convenient sampling, no restrictions are placed on the survey taker while with quota sampling, representative categories with numbers of people to survey are given to the survey taker. And so that's the only structure that the survey taker is given is you have to talk to 50 Democrats and 70 Republicans, or you have to talk to 20 children and 40 um, adults and 20 older people. So we, that's the only kind of restrictions, but you can still go to the convenience store and do your sample there. So really the, the bias for the convenience sample is pretty high and for a quota sample is just barely better, but it is better.